If you're skimming through YouTube finding videos about the new M1 iPad Pro and trying to educate yourself if it's worth purchasing, well, keep watching this video. And if you're new to this channel, please click that subscribe button to support me and that would obviously mean a lot, so let's get right on to it. First, let's talk about if you even have owned or do own any of the third or fourth gen 12.9 inch iPad models. These iPads already possess a 120 hertz IPS LCD display, a A12X or Z Bionic processor with four gigabytes of RAM. The one terabyte version has six gigabytes of RAM and a rare 12 megapixel sensor with flash, a front seven megapixel sensor for FaceTime, four loud ass speakers, five microphones, a USB-C 3.1 smart connector, and if you want to, get an Apple Pencil and a partridge in a pear tree. I have the third gen 2019 12.9 inch model and it's been a workhorse for all my daily activities and work usage. To me personally, it's one fast son of a gun. <laughs> the 10 hour battery is spectacular and even the screen display is beautiful. The Apple Pencil on the other hand is a little barbaric, but it works. I prefer Samsung's S Pen because of its motion features. So I can control certain things like the volume and camera, whereas the Apple Pencil can't. I'm sure you've already gone online and have seen the specs on the newer models. So the 2021 M1 iPad Pro will have this. Only talk about the 12.9 inch and not the 11 inch, but the 12.9 inch will have an outstanding two terabyte maximum storage, a USB-C port Thunderbolt, a Pro Display XDR, you have 5G capabilities, it's got 8 core GPU or 8 gigabytes of RAM, but the 1 and 2 terabyte models have 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has a liquid retina XDR display. So let's talk about that again. The Apple's Pro XDR display that goes for $5,000. You can now get this in the palm of your hands, man, on a freaking tablet. It also has an ultra wide camera with center stage, a 12 megapixel wide camera and a 10 megapixel ultra wide camera. It's got five mics and again, four loud speakers. It also has 10,000 mini LEDs, 2,500 dimming zones. Now with these features, it's no comparison to even the third or fourth gen models. I currently have been using LumaFusion to do some editing and I'm beginning to just fall in love with it. The workflow is spectacular and editing 4K files from my Canon EOS R or GH5 has been smooth and have never experienced any crashes or delays, knock on wood. But on the flip side, with the newer M1 iPad Pros, I'll be shocked if they allow Final Cut Pro or Logic Pro to be used on them. And with all these capabilities, that would mean the newer M1 iPads will be future-proof. Done. It's done. It's done. They just, they, they killed the game. They killed the whole competition. There is not even any competition. And if you've already seen some other leakage of information about the new Samsung Tab S8, it will likely include a faster Snapdragon 888 chip and possibly software upgrades for of course, better multitasking. I mean, I already have the Tab 7 Plus here with the Super AMOLED display of 2800 by 1752, 266 pixel per inch. It's got NTSC, eye care certification, and a 1 million by 1 contrast ratio. Now, there are drawbacks to owning an OLED, and it illuminates only to 430 nits. There's screen flickering. The OLED screen can burn in. And because the newer iPads will feature an XDR display, I mean, you're getting all that in a complete package. I think it's a win for everybody. I mean, think about that. Again, the 32-inch Apple Pro display costs $5,000, guys, $5,000. And again, you're getting all that through a tablet. Booyah. Just booyah everywhere. It's done. I mean, I don't even need to keep talking. I really don't need to be keep talking. Just, just end the video right here, right? Get, just get an Apple iPad. Get it. Get the new M1 iPad Pro. Just get it. Sell the one you have. That's it. It's done.
Okay, okay. Well, now the price starts at $709 for the 11 inch base model with 128 gigabytes up to $1,500 for a one terabyte. But I don't think not any one of us will look or lean towards getting an 11 inch. I think a lot of people out there are more leaning towards a 12.9 inch. You know, that's more pro. And that's gonna start you at $1,099 for 128 gigabytes and whew, $2,200 for two terabytes. I mean, that's, that's just ridiculous. Two terabytes, two terabytes. Ah! So what does this all mean? It pretty much means that Apple's direction with the M1 chip, putting it now with their MacBook Pros, putting in their iMacs, and now their iPad Pro models with an M1 chip, that's it. I mean, the game is done. It's not even checkers, it's chess, and they just killed, they killed it. They really did. I mean, uh, so here we go. Is it worth the later investment on owning a newer M1 iPad Pro? And what I mean later is by waiting to see what other users are going to say about them with the good and the bad, will it be a complete laptop replacement? I don't think Apple has designed them yet to be a complete hardware on their own with file management capabilities. Will I be looking to invest in one? Fuck yes. And if you already do own any of the third or fourth gen iPads, they're still holding their value and you can still sell them at a reasonable price to possibly you know, save up for the difference for that newer M1 iPad Pros. That would be the logical approach. I wish Apple would just upgrade their magic keyboards and add some function tools for volume and brightness. I mean, that seems to be the direction is to pretty much allow the iPad Pro to be a laptop form of some type. So yeah, add those features, please. Now, comparing that to Samsung's keyboard cover, the Magic Keyboard kills it in aesthetics and usage purposes for the lap. It just doesn't wobble around like that little flippy thing on the back of the, the Samsung. But it's still nice though. I, I still like it. Samsung's. <laughs> I don't think any of the features are overkill for the M1 iPad Pros, but more or less, it's over generous is the term. They're adding so many great features and that is why I think it's almost future-proof. And if you guys are still out there watching this video, I mean, that's it. Apple really just did destroy the game. It's done. It really is just done. Oh. Damn. Can I just come out any sooner? I'm just playing Samsung. You know I love you. <laughs>